Alright guys, welcome. So, Death Stranding 2. This came out a couple of months back. The official gameplay trailer for Death Stranding 2. I had no idea this came out. No idea. So here we are. We're checking it out. I I totally skipped this. I don't even I didn't even know. I can't believe I missed it. So Anyway, let's get right into it. I'm going to make sure that we don't blast our ears. Again, this is the official gameplay trailer, so I think it's a, it's a mixture of cinematic and gameplay. Let's do this. Should I, by the way, mention this? Um, I cried. <laughs> I cried for about two hours. Literally because of the end of this game. Sorry, the first game. The entire game, I was not really that impressed when I was watching Death Stranding, but there was something about freaking Norman Reedus and his freaking relationship to the mother effing fetus. Something made me freaking bawl my eyes out for literally two hours at the end of that game. I have no idea why. It was really freaking weird, um, but man, it freaking hit me hard. You have no idea. It hit me freaking like a, a train wreck. Oh my gosh. It was so weird. It's one of those games where you're like, it's not good. It really isn't. But something about it just hit me in a weird way. So, those are my thoughts. But you know, I really don't have any idea of like, what exactly is Death Stranding? We played through the first game, made no sense, and now we're here. Yep, a random beast. Wow. This is gory. Bro, how the frick could you ever be a freaking doctor? Jeez, Liz, that stuff freaks me the F out. Ugh. So what, they're purifying the corpse that got swamped by the black gunk? Okay. Oh my, oh. What, so it's infected the hair follicles? I... Or, oh. Oh, what, now it infected her? Oh my. That is unnerving. Oh dear God. What the frick? Uh, why? Just why? Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. Uh. And to the GHV Magellan. Okay. A base of operations. Come on, I'll help you get your bearings. They're blue now. This is the ship's armory. Here you can check your weapons and put them through their paces. The first game was really These not that good. These here belong to other members of the crew. Why is this They're so weird? The same as yours. And the shower's down at the end. I, I, I like the cinematography and the cinematic pacing of Kojima stories, games, whatever. And that's all I can say for it. Um, Metal Gear Solid 5 is one of my f most favorite games ever. But the things that he's coming out with now, I... I mean, it's this, and then it's also, right, uh, what was the other thing? Wasn't he gonna work on a horror game? I forget, but I, I just, I don't know if I'm crazy about this right now. This is one hell of a ship you got here, courtesy of the UCA, I'm guessing. No, as I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. I like how a lot of games are now becoming basically television, by the way. God help us. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. 
Don't ask me. What the Nothing frick? Face to face. They value their privacy. Seriously? No better than to believe that bullshit. It's the same deal as America. The people here are all spread out. Game. Cut off from one another. This feels so nihilistic. Help us bring the world together. What and Sam, the... would you mind if I join you? What the? Humor him. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down what the road. What the? Yes. What the? Really, Sam? What? Your buttocks. What about shotgun? I prefer the driver's seat. <laughs> that is literally what the frick is going on. This is weird. That is a call to freaking God of War, the reboot game, right? First, Kratos in the first game, he places Mimir's face at his basically near his butt. Literally, the way that he holds up the puppet is the same way as Kratos holding up Mimir's head, okay? Um, and then he places it on his front hip instead. Um, uh, why are they doing that? In Ragnarok, he places it on the front of his hip. Why are they doing that? I, that is strange. Like, is it really such a cool idea that you want to put it into your next game? So we randomly find this random puppet that doesn't have the full frame rate of a normal person talking. That is just weird. And then... We're making a weird reference to God of War, and, and now we're doing the same thing with Mimir, but now in this game? What? So Norman Reedus is now Kratos in Death Stranding 2? Is that what we're trying to say? What are we doing? What are we, what are we doing? Oh my gosh, this is so weird. What are we doing? to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. After we've confirmed network coverage, we can take the DHA. Oh, wow, the graphics are so good nowadays, man. On the border, oh, where all the illegals are. The yeah. That's not the plan, Sam. The UCA isn't looking to expand the Graphics borders. are so good nowadays. Just like with Mexico, wow. They want to bring new regions into the network. Once upon a time, we could only dream of games looking like this. This is just insane, man. I, it's so crazy that games actually look like cutscenes now. So good. Now everything's woke. So everything's beautiful and now woke. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to back you up. As always. The games are beautiful, not the people, by the way. Gotta be clear on that one. You'll be the one leading the way to expand the network. What's your role in all this? Mm. You're the commander, huh? That's right. Okay, so we're at a point now, I guess, in the world of Death Stranding where civilization's rebuilt itself, right? Um, that's kind of interesting. These days I'm fragile in name only. This game better be way more finished than the previous one. This better be what what Kojima actually should have made the first time around. Because the first time around, it was a joke. Holy crap. And it's such a depressing game to play. It's so nihilistic playing through Death Stranding. It, it's just, it's literally nihilism the game. Let's just face it. You brought America together. How did we How did he do that? I don't remember him bringing a country together. I mean, geez, at least uh, civilization's dead. Where is America? I guess we rebuilt it. Or I don't know. The UCA. Those, that's cool. The, uh, in, um, the object-based effects, which is also paired with, uh, I guess, FX, right? Lighting and some other effects. Um, that was cool. Death Stranding Seeing is that. over. Is that in the game? Humanity is still in danger. That's crazy to see. Still on the brink of extinction. Ah, oh, man. I'm, I'm getting weird freaking vibes of Sinua Saga Hellblade 2. That mother effing game. 
I'm getting heavy vibes from that game to this one. And th listen, that is not a good taste in the mouth. After that freaking game, I'm not feeling it for another game. That's a walking simulator. A walking cinematic simulator. No. I I'm not. No. Don't act no. like you don't see it. A lot of things changed after. Who is this chick? Who is this chick? Where is a chick with larger breasts, way more sexualized? Give me my freaking blonde Aryan, freaking double D stacked stripper or hooker dressing uh, female. Love of God. After you went off on your own. Give it to me. Especially within the UCA. Bridge is no longer overseas the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. So your friends and see, 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 the visual stimuli is cool. The pacing, the cinematic pacing, the cinematography overall is cool. But the story is going nowhere. The characters are going nowhere. I don't know what I exactly care about here. I'm hoping that the, the game's better than the last one. But who the frick knows? And co-workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. Okay. So after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions. Come on, man. That's just so freaking feminist. A woman goes out. She starts up a new institution. It, it, a female-led business, basically. It, no one's going to freaking call that trash out, but love of God, bro. I'm so sick and tired of the feminism. A woman that's a career woman, a woman that's out doing things that men do, that men are built to do. It, it, women, women are not leaders. They're not natural leaders like men are. Throughout history, men have always taken the burden of being a leader all throughout history. Enough is enough, bro. Stop it. Stop pushing the career woman BS. Stop pushing girl bosses, boss babes, women who are, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in a leadership role and I'm super. All these men, they take me super seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh. I don't want to get into a, a side tangent here. So I guess I'll bite my tongue or something like that. I don't know. Listen, bro. This destroys the immersion of the world that you're in. You immediately realize that we're playing in a playground politics world. This isn't real, okay? If you have other men contesting with other men, then it's, well, that's the world that you would live in. That's the characters that you would have. We know that no one's competing with each other. We know that the world's not serious because we have female leadership. Whenever you have female leadership within a story, within a world, within real life, anything, that means that civilization is not taking itself seriously. That means that the world that you're inhabiting is freaking playground politics. Everyone's playing make-believe. Oh, look, that female's a leader. Oh, is she really? Was she leading? Uh, we're, no, no one takes life seriously. That's why she's a leader. Oh, okay, thank you for telling me. Why the frick are you allowing that? Because we don't take anything seriously. Oh, thank you for letting me know uh, th for a second time. Outside freaking joke. For some reason, Norman Reedus isn't the leader. For some reason, he's just a freaking dude going around doing things. It's a freaking woman that's a freaking boss, babe. Just pay attention to what you're being shown here. Just look at what they're showing to you. Look at it. It's not hard, man. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. For some reason, it's the woman that's a leader, the not the man. The chiral network and a pass. Humanity will be free from the need to move around. Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but... He found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. Ah, so uh, bro. Metal Gear Solid V was so cool. Metal Gear in general. Metal Gear was cool for a while, and... Um, Kojima's not capturing the same spark, and he's gone woke, he's gone feminist, he's gone multicultural, he's now embraced modernity, and listen, he's not making the same good stuff that he used to make, this stuff feels derivative of something that's soulless, and I don't know what it is, but he, 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 he's not possessing the same spirit of ingenuity that he had with the Metal Gear games. 
And the reason why Metal Gear was so cool was because it was so freaking masculine. The women were effeminate. Anytime women were in the story, no one gives a crap that quiet, for instance. Oh, wow, she's super capable as a sniper and she can fight in combat, kind of. I mean, not really, but she can mostly fight in combat, specifically through guns, the sniper, and her powers. So her powers allow her to be elusive and evasive. Okay. We don't care about any of that. We care that she had a massive freaking breast, attractive freaking white woman. That's all we gave a crap about. We were down bad and down hard for freaking quiet. And that's it. And um, uh, the female boss chick, she was also sexy, right? And I remember she had a sexy outfit showing off massive cleavage. That's the only reason we care. Okay, we don't care about women actually being strong and powerful. And oh my gosh, they're so enabled of their empowerment. Oh, this is so strong. I feel like such a brave cock watching this strong woman. No, we don't care about strong women. No one cares about this stupid dog water horse crap. Enough is enough, bro. We only care about sexy women. That's it. And women can do the things that men do only when they're sexy, and it's because that's a conduit for staring at a freaking sexy female. That's it, all right? If we have a video game with, with accountants, you expect to see men, but the only reason we'll watch a female accountants in a male accountant game is why? So that we can stare at some hot, sexy female accountant with her freaking cleavage out. That's it. That's the only reason why. We only want to... Ah. It's not rocket science. They came back to get revenge on you and me. Who the frick is this guy? What the heck? Hey, brother. Did you miss me? Yeah, I figured you'd pay this place a visit. Who is this guy? Thing has happened. Is this Troy Baker? The fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. What the heck? Guns and violence, the whole damn world. He looks so weird. Whoa, I, yo, these character designs are not working. Yo, what is going on, Kojima, bro? What is going on? What's going on? This fine factory all over the continent. I'm getting massive gay vibes, by the way. Um, what the frick? Um, uh, bro, this is not work. What are we doing? And why does it why is it that in modern gaming everyone has to resemble a real life person? Why can't we just make our characters? Why can't we just make Lara Croft? Why can't we just make Solid Snake? Why can't we just make characters? I don't care who there's real life looking people like uh Snake. There's real life looking people like Quiet, like whoever else. There's people who really do look like these people. I don't care. Make just make a character. Yeah, and when you make up a fictional character like Hitman, by the way, right, um, Agent 47, there are dudes who look like Agent 47. I don't care. Just make a character, think of someone that looks cool, they most likely have a real life person that is an almost like um, through and through interpretation of that individual character from a game, right? There's a real life Lara Croft, sexy freaking female and all that, right? But I don't care. I, I don't want to know that that's a real life person. I don't care that's a real life person. I want give us fictional characters again, just enough. And again, these fictional characters, they typically look like real life people. But again, make me a fictional character again. Make someone look like someone I actually give a crap looking at. Make them look cool. Make them look like someone that fits the role. And then find a voice actor or whatever. What do we, again, like Harley Quinn. There's actual women from the Arkham games, not the woke ones. Um... There's actual women who look like Selena Kyle. Love of God, Catwoman, so hot in the Arkham games. Freaking her, her, my gosh, her freaking perfect look is from Arkham City. Golly, is Catwoman a freaking banger out of 10? Frick. There's real life women who look like Selena Kyle. But you know that she's not really intended to be based on anyone from real life. And that's, keep it that way, okay? I don't care. I don't care. Don't make anybody realistic, air quotes on that trash. I don't want anybody looking, air quotes, realistic. 
Make a fictional character, make them cool, make them hot, all this stuff. And yes, there's going to be someone in real life that looks like them. There's someone in real life that looks like the Halo Force Cortana. There's someone who looks like a lot of these sexy women that we used to see in a lot of gaming. There are chicks who look like freaking Eve from Stellar Blade, right? But I don't care. Do not make these people real life people. You can be inspired, right? I mean, like Tifa, there's chicks who look like Tifa. I don't care though. Tifa was not made to look like anybody. Tifa was just made to be a hot chick character in a video game. There are dudes who look like Cloud, but they didn't go out of their way when making Cloud to make him look like a dude from real life. Enough. 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 Make real life people, or sorry, um, make these characters, do not make them look like real people. Just make them look like fictional characters, like they used to. And again, it, they happen to look like people from real life. That's just how it works. But again, make these people in these games. Do not make them look like real people. Make them look like fictional characters. I am so fed up with this. I, I, I freaking had it, man. Jeez, Lise. It, 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 listen, it's not cool or interesting seeing real life people. I do not care. I'm not interested. Give me Kratos. Give me Kratos. I want to see Kratos. Not some dude that m might look like, or what you want Kratos to look like in real life. Okay? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And by the way, Kratos, from the games, there are men who look like him. But again, he's not based on any direct dude. Enough with the direct interpretations. Stop it. I am so fed up with it. By the way, again, another example, Nathan Drake. There are dudes who look like Nathan Drake. Was Nathan Drake based on any actual guy? No. But there's a bunch of dudes who look like him. Stop it. Make cool characters. Make cool characters. Stop the freaking horse crap. This is a joke. What are we looking at, bro? What are we looking at? Let's rewind a little bit. It, 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 um, and by the way, there are dudes who look like the Joker, right? I mean, Joker is a very weird look. Very acute features, right? From the Arkham games, not the gay Joker. From the Arkham games, though, Joker's a very fascinating character. His visual features are very strange. But there are men who look like him. Now, that's much more rare uh, then like, let's say even a Bruce Wayne look, right? Joker has a very unique facial, uh, structure, but there are men who even look like him from the Arkham games, but okay, just, I'm being very clear here. Enough. Make interesting looking people. I don't want these people to look like someone from real life, like an actor or whatever. I don't know. No, like, Jeez, Jedi Survivor had this issue where it's like we have to make everyone look like someone from real life. I don't want that. I'm not interested. Make fictional characters. Again, there's a bunch of sexy people in real life and you could throw them into a game. But again, it's just better when you just make a fictional character and they happen to look like real life people. But again, just we need to rely on fiction. I'm so sick and tired of this. Yeah. We're seeing too much of this. We're seeing too much of it, simply. I figured you'd pay this place a visit. I mean, Joel from Last of Us. I don't think he was based on anybody uh, directly. I think he may be a little bit inspired. Same thing with Arthur Morgan. I mean, some of these guys are based on real-life dudes, but again, they're not direct interpretations. Seeing as how I've been distributing the fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. Oh my gosh, this is not working, bro. Is there anyone sitting there being like, yeah, this works? Is there anyone saying that? Because no, no, no. Guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it is. Why is he at? He is holding himself like a freaking woman. This is so homosexual. Look at the way he's moving his body. This is ragingly gay. No, no, no. Make it stop. Make it stop. Never was. This is so bad. So bad. 
Looks like you decided to oh. trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Stop making well, okay. Stop making men and women androgynous. Stop making women like men. I've been saying this for a long time. I guess I didn't really get the feeling that I've been needing to say this for a while recently. Let's say it again. Stop making men and women androgynous. Stop it. He is behaving like a woman, like a kind of like um like a trickster female. It's weird. It does not work here. This is not a male trickster archetype like Arden from Final Fantasy XV, which I love Arden's character. That's a great character and a great expression of that archetype. This is not it. This is not working. This is terrible. What are we doing? A porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? My gosh, if we had good writers, good directors, this could be cool. But man, they, they are effing this up. Man. I just know that if you grab these exact same characters, archetypes of characters, and also, if you just grab, um, don't, don't do these outfits. But if you just take everything that this game is trying to be, take everything this game is trying to be, Go back to when the first Metal Gear games were being made. This would all be cool. The, the villain would look cool. Everything would look awesome. We are not hiring the right people anymore. Say it with me. <laughs> Don't actually, but freaking A. Like at this point, it might as well be a chance. And I said this in uh, the Dragon Age trailer reaction video. Being a nerd is lame and gay. Say it with me. Don't actually, but say it with me, air quotes. Being a nerd is lame and mother effing gay. This sucks. Who the frick is like, I'm a nerd and I love gaming and I'm so proud of being a nerd and I'm so proud of my flamboyance and I'm so proud of liking men and loving to suck off men and I don't like women and their bodies or when they're sexually attractive. That's wrong. I love being a homosexual male. That's brave and that's beautiful. Who the frick? Who the frick is sitting there? Thinking that way, being that way, and that, by the way, that's what gaming has become. It's not cool anymore. Where are my misogynistic, mother-effing main character males? Where's a guy like Duke Nukem? Where's a guy like Kratos in the older games? Which, you know, some of that stuff was freaking Edgelord 9000. But let's go back to that, please. Let's go back to where I don't feel like I'm a freaking pussified, pansy freaking male buying a game, playing the game. No. Bring me back to when men were freaking problematic. Bring me back to when women were problematic and helpless. Bring me back to the days. I'm going to make a video on this. Love of God. It, it's time. It's time. I'm making a freaking video on this. We need, we need to bring back problematic males and females into gaming, into storytelling. I am so fed up with this trash, bro. You don't understand. I'm fed up. I'm so done with this. Oh, who the frick thinks this is good? Who? Oh, who spends money? What kind of cock spends money for this? Who? 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 You tell me. You tell me. I don't know who the frick would do this to themselves, but this is sad and pathetic. Jeez Louise. I, I am so... I'm disappointed. You have no idea. This is so bad. And we, we see so much of this nowadays. So much of it. You. Hey, buddy. Are you just another soulless little husband? Uh, what the frick? Let go of me. What is this? What the heck? Pathetic guitarist. Where's the what, what is this deal with making someone... So are, are we trying to make this a trend now where someone that sits on your hip is now the eccentric side of your personality? And you're like the stoic character? What, 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 what are we doing? Listen, it, it worked in the first game, 2016. Um, I hate God of War Ragnarok, but the first game was good, okay? And then they switched out the director, I think it was, or the writer, and then frick, it shows. Frick, it got so bad. But like, 
I liked Kratos. I liked Mimir. I liked, uh, frick, what's his name? It's, uh, H. Atreus, not Loki, but right, it's air quotes, Loki. I liked those characters in the first reboot of the game. I don't like the fact that there's no sexy women. I hate the fact that Kratos is no longer freaking air quotes on misogynistic. Kratos needs to be problematic. Stop it. I I'm so done with this trash. I'm so done with how we pussify men. Stop it. Make everything problematic again. Make it problematic again. I'm making a video on this trash. I'm, I'm, I'm making a video on this. It's going to happen now. Because after seeing this time and time again, I, I've had it. I'm fed up. What the? That Was it you, Hicks? Huh? W what is the fantasy behind Death Stranding? Like, what is their idea to all this? I can't, I can't fathom. What do they think they're doing? What what are we tapping into? What is it? I don't know. Why are these robots basically humanoids? I mean, at this point, they're not even robots. I. What is Kojima doing? I I, I can't get an understanding of what he's going for. The first game did not work. Now we're here. This is still not working. What are we trying to do here? What what are we aiming for? What's the idea? Because right now, this is not working. And quite frankly, I'm just, I'm getting a little bit pissed off. It's like, you know, there's a way to make these ideas work. And it's just so clear that Kojima and the people that he's working with, they don't know what they're doing. This is so bad. Because like right now, in my own mind, I can come up with my own ideas of how you should be creating these scenes, or how you should be creating these characters, or how you should be expressing them. Right here, this is not working. Um, again, there's so many alterations that you could do, and I'm just thinking back, back when Metal Gear was coming out, all those games, back then they made all of these ideas work. Now we're seeing this game, and they are not able to make all these ideas work. Was it you that killed Lou? You still don't know, do you? Fuck! What the heck? It's another soulless little heart. Oh, I just... We have a living puppet now? I, what does that mean? What is that connected to? And why? I, it, nothing makes sense. And this is the issue. Nothing makes sense now. With a lot of new properties, a lot of new franchises. What are we doing? I, how do, tell me how this makes sense. How does this make any sense? What are we looking at right here? I, I just, I don't understand what the idea is. And what am I supposed to be engaging with as the viewer, right? If I buy this game, I'm a customer. What am I engaging with? Why is everything the way it is here? I don't get it. Huh? Let go of me! This is so weird. Pathetic guitarist, where's the rest of your band? <laughs> yeah, this is weird. I I'm just not feeling it. And the armor looks uh, terrible. Um, was it you, Higgs? Huh? Was it you that killed Lou? Who's Lou? I don't know. You still don't know, do you? Fuck! I... I'm so confused. What the... What the... What the... Is that the baby? What? What? <laughs> what? Dude! What the frick? Something he said. What? You don't know a goddamn thing about Lou. Alright, Sam. Oh, Lou's the baby. Let's see what we can find on Lou. What the F? If you want answers, you're gonna have to find them yourself.
This is but so weird. The ones you do find, well, that pain you nurse, will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Well, that's cute. Yeah, save the white race, Norman. It's it's going downhill right Don't now. Don't forget, coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. And you have. We all know you've got this. Why is that the subtitle on the beach? Did that need to be there? Uh, hold on, hold on. On the beach. Okay, Death Stranding 1. I don't remember it having subtitles. Maybe it did. Okay, that game is Death Stranding was just the title. Now it's Death Stranding 2 on the beach. Death Stranding on the beach. Why? What, what does it mean to be on the beach? Are, are we lost on the beach? Are the whales lost on the beach? Uh, climate change? Is, this, is that what it is? So we went from Death Stranding. Now we have to get more literalist about what it means or something. So now it's Death Stranding on the beach, which was kind of already implied the previous time. What are we doing? Um, man, that, that fight scene was weird. Uh, so Baby can now go Power Rangers mode, I guess. Or that he's, he's over 9,000 and now he's Super Saiyan. I mean, uh, uh, what? And weird things are happening off screen. Like, uh, this is so irreverent. Literally, this is irreverent fiction here. Like, things are just happening. Um... How did I, I'm I'm legit wondering now that with this um how are other people registering all of this because the trailers for the first game were cool because we didn't know anything about it and we knew Metal, Metal Gear Solid Five was an awesome game and I wish that was finished and Metal Gear in general was pretty cool but so then we were just thinking like oh this is gonna be cool you have this you have that this, the, all these things are going on. But Death Stranding 2, we already know what the game's about, um, which is effectively nothing. And now we're being shown some really irreverent fictional concepts and deliveries. What are we doing? Now it's time to finish. This is so weird. The journey, Sam. Uh -oh. Please understand. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. What, what are we going for? We never meant to string you along. What the heck? That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained... Why don't we hire a chick like Diora Baird? And, and like, there, there's other chicks, um, like, in their 20s. But, like, why not find us a, a stacked, sexy woman for these role? I, 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 eh. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm beside myself now. One's identical in structure to the... Yeah, again. Uh, who are we hiring? At this point, what are we doing? You know? I, I just... I'm so frustrated looking at this because it's like... They're just... It's like they're intentionally screwing it up. How are they getting the budget for this? I... I don't get this, bro. This is not working. What? Oh... Listen, if you hired me, and you got me to make this, it would not be screwed up to this level. What is Kojima doing? Why, why is Kojima screwing it up this hard? I, you know, I said this with a couple of game reviews a little while back, but like, listen, man, if you're going to work at something at all, don't screw it up. If you're going to do it, do it well. If you're not going to do it well, don't do it at all. Why are they half on noosing the effort on this project? 
Man, like, no one's trying anymore. Dude, the West has fallen. The West has fallen. It's, it's over. It's freaking over. If, if this is seriously what we are creating as the West, seriously? Ser this, is, this is it? And, in you know, Europe, they're kind of a part of that, and all the things they're making are dog trash. Like, uh, Still Wakes the Deep. I'm pretty sure that was a European studio. And uh, what, Alan Wake 2? That was trash. And I think that was a European studio. We are not doing well anymore. And I, I have no idea. What the frick? This is bad. Whose money? Is it literally ESG that's funding this, which is taxpayers? Because I don't know how the frick they're getting their money, bro. Where are they getting the money to screw up this hard? The kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you what think the that creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. What? I saw her home. And it was a hellhole. You see, after you left Bridges, I decided to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I... Ah. Wow. Wow. What? Silent Hill, the short message reveal trailer. That does not look good. Oh my gosh. What are we doing? Wow. How? How is this being made? Bro, I'm... You know, I, there was once upon a time I actually thought that Kojima was really good. And, um... You know, there's stuff that Kojima's worked on that's had its impression on me, but in its own right, um, for whatever it's worth, I, I don't know what's going on here. I am speechless, bro. I am so beside myself right now. Wow. Holy crap. Um, what the frick? Don't tell me other people are. Yeah, I mean this. This was this was so wacky and weird. It would have been cool if the guys that worked on Metal Gear with Kojima, if those guys were on the team. Let's see this again. Fuck. Literally, that's the baby. What the? And then he has a guitar. What the heck? See, man, this is so cool, but like, this is not the right team to be delivering this kind of content this kind of material they don't know what they're doing you know again grab the same guys from konami that worked with kojima on metal gear this would be cool then i would be here like this is awesome but this is just lame and gay american horse crap what the frick are we making? Seriously, bro. L look at this. This is... Man, I can't believe I didn't know this came out. N I, who talked about this? I don't know. I don't know what anyone else thinks about this. Um, and I'm not acting like I really care that. I, I, what I'm wondering is, are there people shilling for this? Because I'm, I'm not trying to be this way. 
um i don't 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 over over overestimate or overstate what i'm saying here okay understate what i'm saying here okay take this in the least intensity i'm saying it through this is embarrassing and i mean that with the least intensity okay I, I, you can act like I'm saying it facetiously, okay? This is embarrassing. With the fact that this could be done so much better. You know, Star Wars has become freaking clown wars, freaking stupid Jedis in space wars, whatever. Star Wars has become a freaking joke. And I'm like, what the frick are we doing? What, what, what the frick did we do to Star Wars? We maimed it. What the frick is going on with Western entertainment? This is... I, I, have, I think I need to make two videos now based on this freaking crap. This is so bad. What? Genuine question. I'm going to have to make a video on this too now. Two videos now. I'm going to have to make two videos. What the frick is the West doing? What is the West up to right now? Because... We are freaking soiling the freaking bed. We, we, are, we are monstrifying what the entire process of making creative products, what it means. What are we looking at? What are we doing? This is so massively botched. This is so bad. I, I mean, this feels like, uh, it, it's like we're going to the cleaners or something, or like we're, uh, what, what are the Havoc suits or hazmat suits? It, it's like a bunch of dudes cleaning up toxic sewage. That's the outfits that we have here. A bunch of hazmat suits, but like we're at war. So it's like hazmats at war. So it's like clown hazmats having at it. Yo. What the frick is Kojima thinking? It, 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 genuine question. Uh, bro. I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think with you. This is so bad. Who the frick? Somebody green lit this project. Someone has funding. Millions of dollars being funneled into this. One more time, do you understand millions of dollars are being funneled into these projects? Do you understand that people are being hired? You have a bunch of people on a project, they're working hours upon hours delivering this. Do you understand how the frick, for me, do you, do you understand where I'm coming from, bro? How the frick this is being made? What are we doing? What are we doing? We literally don't take anything serious anymore. We don't even take our own economy seriously anymore. To the point that we are funneling millions of dollars into this dog water horse trash fictional properties. Whatever the heck we think we're making. What is this? Go look at Metal Gear. Go look at this. Go look at Metal Gear. Go look at this. Go look at Metal Gear. Then go look at this again. And ask yourself. We're putting our money into this? We could be getting cool, sexy stuff right now. And instead of cool and sexy, masculine and feminine, proper, problematic masculine and feminine, we're getting this? Lame and gay bullcrap? Who the frick? You have, pe you have people that their whole identity, and I mean like you have hundreds of thousands, I think, or maybe people, they preach so loud that it's overestimated. But seemingly, there's a bunch of people who are like, I'm a nerd, and I'm so proud of being a nerd or a geek or whatever. You are lame and effing gay. I want you to look in the mirror. You are lame and you are effing gay. I want you to look in the mirror as that tear is falling down your cheek, off your freaking face, and it's falling down to the floor, and there's a puddle beneath you of your tears. I want you to look in the mirror and say, I am lame, I am gay, and I am proud. 
I want you to say it again. I am lame, I am gay, and I am proud. I want you to say that five more times until it, it goes through into your freaking head that what you, the frick, think is cool, you are lame and gay. And you, for some reason, you think that everyone else needs to be getting behind being mother effing lame and mother effing gay. What are you doing? Star Wars has become Clown Wars. We are now inside of clown entertainment. That is what American media has become. American media is clown entertainment. And there you have it right there. I'm making a mother effing video on this trash. I could end the video right there, by the way. This video. I just want to be very clear about this, bro. Here. Uh, you know what? L let's see a little bit more of this. Frick. So bad. You don't know a goddamn thing about Lou. All right, Sam. Holy, what are we doing? All right, let's mute it. Let's, let's play it as we finish some of my thoughts, okay? Whoa. I want you to say it with me. I am lame and gay, and I am proud. I want you to understand. We are now in the realm of clown entertainment. American media has now become clown entertainment. I don't know how we got here. I don't know how we're at such a place where you have these freaking losers who are like, it's so cool backing these products. It's so cool working on this dog water horse trash or, or, or buying this dog water horse trash or seeing and watching this dog water horse trash. How the frick have we gotten here? How have we done this? Man. So I'm going to make a video about this. Uh, I don't know how long it will be, but we have effectively gotten to the point of clown entertainment with our media. You have people who think it's cool to back this stuff. You have people who waste hours of their mother effing life digging into the lore of these worlds, these universes. Like, oh, I read the, all the lore books inside this game and I'm so cool. Uh, uh, you know, actually, you misunderstand this thing about this video game. If you actually understand it because you read the lore books, they said this and they said that. What the frick? You're lame and gay. I want you to say it to yourself. Look in the mirror as the tears are falling down your face. You are lame and you are gay. What are you doing with yourself? What are you doing with your life? You think this is cool. You think this is worth your time. You think that you should spend any amount of time reading useless lore in a useless universe in a useless game. You literally have crafted your entire identity around being a loser. And now we have products made by losers for losers. And then losers think they're cool when they buy loser media, clown media. Actually, sorry. It's loser media, but let's just let's stay on track with how we're calling this. You have clowns making media for clowns who purchase media. And then you think you're cool when you you as a clown are purchasing clown media. And then you're engaging in the entire circus and you think all this noise, you think it makes it, it makes you cool. You think it makes the product cool. You think it makes what you're investing your money and your time into, you think it makes it cool. This is pathetic. I have no idea where that mother effing puppet came from, by the way, but okay. I am going to be making two videos on all of this. Um... Because of this trailer, I had no idea this existed. I didn't even know that Death Stranding 2 was announced. I'm sitting here. I am disgusted. I can't believe we're here right now. I can't believe that this is where American media has gone to. I can't believe that people think this is acceptable or okay. I can't believe people are not speechless. I can't believe people keep on making excuses for this trash. What are we doing? We need to bring ourselves back to what games were. We have to bring ourselves back. Dude, so, uh, dude, Agent 47 was cool. I, I didn't, I wasn't even that big of a fan of it, but it was cool. The Hitman games. 
God of War was cool. All, all these games, all these products, they were cool. Once Upon a Time, Final Fantasy was cool. Now that's freaking gay as all get out. And it's had its ups and downs, but it used to be largely cool. Um, what are we doing? I have no idea what we're up to. I'm so beside myself because it's like all of our modern entertainment, it's wow. This is wow. How did we get here, bro? I'm thinking back. Things used to be cool, things used to be sexy. You know, think back to Batman Arkham City and Asylum specifically. But, yeah, again, they got rid of Paul Dini for Arkham Knights. But think about that. Think about how we had freaking Catwoman, sexy. Batman was awesome. What are we doing now? What, what are we making now? Everything is so bad. You think about the older Spider-Man games. The women were sexy, right? Black Cat was hot. And it was largely cool, you know, eh, I, I wasn't a big fan of those games, but I mean, for the large part, they were, they were much better than this. Um, man, dude, I, I, so we're going to make some videos on this because this is crazy. I'm watching this and it's like, you know, the Joker was a cool villain. Nathan Drake was cool. The villains he was up against were cool. Everything was cool, interesting, intriguing. Now, Snake was cool in Metal Gear Solid Five. Um, uh, Skull, I think, was his name. He was a cool villain. And then we had a lot more after that that was cool. The side characters were cool. Quiet was freaking hot. Smoke show. What are we doing? What are we doing now? We have really lost ourselves in modern media. And bro... We have gotten to the point that nerds, they need to start admitting it to themselves. They are freaking lame and they are freaking gay.